Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to the final mind down. Do -do -do -do. Rage survival, breaking your eardrums since 2012. Or was it 2011? Was it 2010? It was 2010, wasn't it? Was it 11? 10? 10, 11, 12. Wait, that just sounds like I'm learning to count. Then there was 10, and then I went out of figures, and I never know what comes after 10. Either way, welcome to the next episode of Minecraft Hardcore Server Survival, when I play on the world, which when I'm not playing it is currently a survival server, so things can happen while I'm gone. Ooh. And I will also be attempting a challenge set by you guys each episode. However, today... I am going to take all the lives I have used and begin the final battle in a challenge to complete bu 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 I win the series, so I, I'm just gonna, just gonna, just, wanna, just let me just, okay, that was just really awkward. I'm going to sleep to make my amazingly constructed base camp my home, and guys, you have no idea how long it took to find this temple. I was walking around and swimming and boating for hours. It, ah, oh, okay, ah. Oh. Though the good thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that you guys were kind enough to leave me some final treats, such as better protection, aqua affinity depth strider, and some potions of water breathing. As well, ladies and gentlemen, is a... Oh, the, the water breathing actually gives you a vision underwater. Nice. Well, this is neat. I've never done this. This is so cool. Okay, this has never been done in the history of Minecraft. Well, no, it has, but... Shut up. <gasps> the first glimpse of a guardian. Oh, this is exciting. I am so happy to finally be here and be doing this. I didn't think you guys would want another episode of just straight preparation, so I thought, you know what, let's just make things happen. If I do succeed or fail, this will probably be the last episode of the series, guys, because although this has been fantastic fun and you have all been wonderful, it's really been an experiment this series just to see how survival does actually work when you're having people come on and having the challenges and stuff and generally it's been a really cool experiment there's been some cool fun things happen you guys have been amazing you've not trolled me which ah, 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 which i thought you would have you were all very helpful which to be fair has like caused this the thing to shorten a little the series length but that's okay because i'm really proud of you so I have mining fatigue, which probably isn't good. In fact, did I even bring a pickaxe? I did bring a pickaxe, but it's it's not really the best pickaxe. I just really want some sea prism, but I guess I'm not allowed that. Okay, deeper into the temple. Dun 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 dun. Okay then, I guess. I guess not. Not now. Oh, it's in my face! It's in my face! It's in my face! Ow! Stop it! Okay. Okay, this is literally like being in shark land. This is very upsetting. Okay, I just need to keep exploring it, and it is fine. I just need to keep being here, and everything will be a-okay. Hello, Guardian. You think I care about you? No, I don't care, although these things are freaking tough. Ooh, a big-ass room. Okay, I should probably not get zapped by the laser. I keep forgetting that I am technically underwater, and therefore can move in three dimensions. Ba-boom, ba-boom, you're going down. You think you can beat me? Well, have you know, you're a clown. A clown guardian. Does this even do any damage to me? I'm going to take a zap. Oh, half a heart. Ha! Ah, I am, I am prepared for this. I am totes prepared. Ow. He hit me a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, can I get into here? That's the question. Hmm, can I maybe use blocks in order to form like a wall that can get rid of the water and then probably actually mine it correctly? Is that something that is actually doable? I feel like it should be. So if I do that there, do that there, and then block us off here. If I do this and then get rid of this... Wait, I shouldn't have done that actually because now... 
now it's going to take forever and a day to get through these blocks. This was actually a very, very stupid idea, and I regret my decision almost instantly. Can I even get through this? Can I even physically break through this dirt? Have I permanently trapped myself in here to die? Because I feel like I might have done. In which case, that is very, very awkward. It's not even slightly breaking, is it? It's just not even slightly cracking under any circumstances. Um, so, team, team, if I, if I was to ask, how specifically do I... Do I get, um, I feel like I just have to sit here for four minutes and slowly drown to death. I regret my life choices up until this point. I'm not going to lie. I severely regret my life choices and wish now that I could have made completely different ones. I'm running out of food. I'm running out of breath. And I'm running out of a will to live. The third of which is probably the most required for continued existence in this world, but the first two are certainly important. God damn it, how did I manage to get into this situation? Only me would tomb myself within the bloody temple to bloody begin with. Oh, life is hard. Life is... Wait, is it breaking? Is it technically breaking, or is that just wishful thinking? I feel like it looks like it's breaking. Maybe? Kind of? If I had a shovel, maybe? But I have nowhere to place a crafting table, so... Yeah. I guess the only thing I can do is literally keep punching this block as... Oh no, yeah, it is breaking! It is breaking! <gasps> I might actually have a way out of here! The failure is not yet complete, guys! The failure is not yet complete! Though the clock is, of course, ticking. <sighs> Talking of the clock ticking, I just realised something. I'm an idiot! That's not really to do with the clock. It's something I realized a long time ago, but I thought it, you know, really does need reiterating at this point. So why is Mining Fatigue 3 so ridiculously potent that it takes a good two minutes to punch through a singular dirt block? It's a good, good job I didn't make this multiple layers thick, or we really would be here for a long, long while. This is like trying to punch through obsidian on the surface world. In fact, probably punching through obsidian would take less time. Is it even possible to punch through obsidian? I'm not even sure. But this is exciting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is Intrepid Explorer. Only the very, very best explorers can ever, ever fall for something like this. What I'm actually hoping is that I don't run out of air breathing while trying to get through this block, because otherwise what that means is that I can't get my stuff back because it's all going to spill out of me in this tomb. And I can't get back into the tomb because I can't get to my water breathing because it's in this tomb. So this really is a race. I'm not going to lie. This is a race between deleting this one singular freaking dirt block over my water breathing running out. How? How did I even? Just how? I mean, it's slowly breaking at least. I'm glad I didn't try to punch through the wood. Otherwise, we would be here for an hour. In fact, is dirt with fist the fastest fist block? In fact, my finger is cramping. I have finger cramps because this is taking so bloody damn long. Oh, damn it. Damn it. All to underwater hell. Okay, I swear on Neptune I will unleash unholy vengeance upon the reason I am here. I, get, I realize it's myself, but I'm just going to decide that it's the Guardian's fault and... I will be killing all of them upon my release from this imprisonment. Imprisonment? Imprisonment. Imprisonment. I'm just really hoping that there isn't another block over here once I delete this, because otherwise I'm going to be here for a while. And I think I probably will give up on life, actually. Honestly, I'm just happy to accept whatever comes first, death or this block breaking. I feel like I've been punching this for a sizable amount of time, and while definitely cracks are appearing, it's not really at the rate I would have liked. I think the fact that it's underwater crossed with mining fatigue means that this is probably one of the longest block breaks I've ever had to endure in the history of my Minecraft days, which is really, really quite unfortunate. Please, please just delete. Just please delete. That's all I want. I just need you to just please Please get out my way. Is it even updating? Yeah, the cracks are at least getting a little bit more intense, but... Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, it happened. It actually freaking happened. There's nothing I can do. There's no point drinking another one. I am a I am a flaming idiot. I am an idiot beyond beyond all idiots. I am such a supreme idiot that it doesn't actually bear mentioning how much of an idiot I am. I am so much of an idiot that I really don't even deserve to be called an idiot. That's that's an insult to idiots. I deserve my own special category of being an idiot. There's no way to do this anymore, is there? Because I've lost all my stuff. I can't just wander in and get it back because A, I will drown and B, I will drown. So, generally speaking, I am royally screwed. So that's good. That makes me happy. I guess I'll just put a crafting table there. Why did it take so long to get through one singular fracking dirt block? What was that? Oh, and I just replaced that. Brilliant. Yay, whoa! I'm so happy about this whole thing. Oh, I am a complete and utter failure. A absolute, complete and utter failure. Is there any way... I can bring this back because I really, really don't think there is. Like, even if I could get to that room, there's no way I could dig through the dirt block in the time it would take me to drown to death. So I think, honestly, all I've done is spend this entire series building up to this climactic moment and then trapping myself in a tomb and drowning to death. That is, that is what I've achieved this entire set. That makes me... I mean, it, 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 on one hand, it's freaking hilarious, but on the other hand, I'm just so, so upset. You have no idea. I feel like, I feel like everything I I knew is wrong. I feel like the world is a lie. I feel like I've just, I've just been lied to this entire time. And now I don't have armor. This is going to hurt like hell. I oh, still only does two hearts. Okay, let's see how far I can get before I drown to death. That didn't take very long, did it? It's the wrong way as well. I even went the wrong fracking way. There's just no... No helping me, is there? I am completely and utterly screwed. Well, I mean, I, I tried. I... Um... I, I did try? I'm so sorry, guys. I am so, so freaking sorry. I really, really am. Let me know if you'd like me to try again, or if you're content to be this epic but utterly failing conclusion to this series. What I am thinking, though, ladies and gentlemen, is my itch to do another build project is really something fierce. I've made Rage Mesa, I've made Fish Spider Industries, I've got facility out of my system, but what I want to make is something along the lines of perhaps Rageican Heaven. So like this big floating metropolis amazing place in the sky and have individual sectioned locations like the Evans Angel Park and then we can have sheep statues <laughs> and then each de deliberate area can obviously be monitored by one of you guys as I do my regular competition -y thing to get the curators of each area though well, they will be named differently of course I think that would be cool because it lets me build in sort of modular areas because big ass cloud circle all right what we're going to plug into this one the hollow asylum etc etc so i think that would be quite a fun uh, interactive build project with you guys and of course you could always make suggestions as to what you think belongs there the pun the punditorium the heaven punditorium that is what needs to happen but yes for now i am so sorry for my utter terribleness you must have facepalmed so hard. My name has been Rage. Let me know if you like the idea of that build series. I'm also... Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I'd like to ask. I'm contemplating turning this series into a sort of maybe slightly trolley series where I leave the server open more and just go on in creative mode. Maybe go invisible and try and just sneak around and mess with people as much as possible. I think that could be fun for at least a few episodes. But yes, they are the things I am thinking of, ladies and gentlemen. But for now, I'm just again so sorry. My name has been Rage. Sure like if you somehow enjoyed this and subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye. I suck so much.